And what about the contribution from Auden and Britain? What do you make of that? Well, it, it is obviously the thing that uh, has sold the film. Um, uh, what I was saying earlier about the uh, the documentary filmmakers wanting to experiment, wanting to try things, wanting to be new in a way that they could afford to be and that uh, commercial filmmakers couldn't. Uh, and, and that this is a prime example of them being very successful. Uh, the several voices uh, on the soundtrack, not just the, uh, the, the ones which I suspect were, were added in, uh, in the post-production stage, uh, but because they wouldn't have had sound recording facilities on the on the trains or uh, uh, on the stations, um, but uh, also the use of sound uh, and um, the heavy industrial noises of the trains pulling in and out and uh, crossing points and the the signals and uh, uh, the mailbags. It, it, I mean, it's all. Uh, work together from what I think were probably originally fairly disparate uh, units and I, I had also forgotten that uh, Cavalcanti's name was also um, on the, uh, the, the credits uh, and I think he is unjustly neglected as somebody who had a, a, a very good film mind uh, and who, uh, as we know, later went to Ealing and uh, worked as Michael Balkan's uh, number two, um, as well as directing, uh, amongst others, Nicholas Nickleby for them. But uh, here I think we see him, uh, as it were, getting a foot in the door and probably making a contribution alongside Basil Wright and Harry Watt.